Blair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. We present the 24th episode in Blair of the Mounties, as related to Inspector Blair's old friend, Angus McGregor. Again, our scene opens on a quiet evening in the garden of Angus McGregor's home in Vancouver. Aye, uh, yon was a queer business, Inspector. You mean the matter of that Malayan prince in Victoria? Aye, uh, I was just reading about it in the papers. Two men killed and one committed suicide. And then there was uh, that ruby. It's a wonder the, that didn't come into the case. There's barely a hundred words in the paper. But, Inspector Mann, you were there at the time. Your name was among the guests at the Grand Ball. Yes, Miss Guest and I went to the ball. I was there when the thing happened. But in this case, I was a sort of a spectator, Angus. A spectator, were you? <laughs> Why, a spectator. I'm thinking there's more behind it than that, Inspector. <laughs> You know, there's an odd scene. The onlooker sees most of the game. <laughs> Don't let's talk about it, Angus. Someday, perhaps I'll tell you the story, but not now. I, I thought as much. <laughs> well, maybe there's another story that you haven't told me. <laughs> well, seeing that Chinaman of yours reminded me. Did I ever tell you the story of Ching Wo at the landing? Mm, oh, I... I didn't mind it. Well, here we go. Ching Wu was one of those enterprising Chinamen up in the Yukon. Ran a sort of combination bakery and boarding house at the landing. You see, he used to supply bread for the town and the camps and took in boarders as well. He was a tight-fisted old fellow. Hey, and did somebody murder him? No, no, nothing like that. Anyhow, here's the story. Good Lord, Marshal. This bacon is burned to a cinder. I'm sorry. Best I can do, Sergeant. This business of batching isn't all that it's cracked up to be. No, if only that hotel dining room wasn't so terrible. The place swarms with flies. Yes. Anything's better than that. What's on today? Oh, nothing as usual. If something doesn't happen soon, I'm going to take up knitting. Hello? Hello? Looks as if something has happened. What is it? Why, uh, here's Ching Wu, heading for the office. Looks like trouble. See what he wants. All right. Ah, uh, Mr. Mr. Marshal, Mr. Marshal, you come click, you come click. Uh, you, you catch him, Mr. Blair, quick, please. You uh, what's wrong? Him. What's wrong, Ching? Oh, 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 bad fella, bad fella, bad fella, Lee Chong. Him, him, run away. Him, mm -hmm. steal all of my money. Oh, him, bad fella. All are gone, all are gone. Two thousand dollars, all are gone. Hold on, Ching. What's this about Lee Chong? Oh, him fat fella. Him fat fella catch him plenty money. Him, him quit last night. Him loan away. All the money gone, Lee you Chung savvy? quit last night, you say? Sure, him, him go on plot. You, you catch him, you savvy? Uh, catch him, telegram. You telegram, uh, white horse, uh, policeman. How much money did he get away with? Him take uh, everything. Oh, all the money I got. Two thousand dollars, you Oh, savvy? you got more than that, Chingy. No, 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 man. Me, me, pay me, me, poor fella. Oh, all the money gone. All right. All right, Marshal. Get on the phone and have Ransom pick this fellow up. Tell him to search his baggage. Right. Uh, him, 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 him take a suitcase, too. Uh, everything go. Hold on now, Ching. You have any trouble with Lee Chong? Oh, sure. Plenty of trouble. Plenty of trouble. All the time a fight, you savvy. Oh, him lassie. Did you pay him when he quit? Sure, me pay him plenty. No good, fella. No good. Him, him, him lassie. All the time asleep, you savvy. How much do you pay him? Mm hmm. Him, I, 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 I pay him plenty. He, him, him want, uh, him say I pay uh, $75. Oh, too much. I no pay. Too How much? much? How much do you pay him? Well, him, uh, him say maybe me no pay $75. Him uh, make a trouble. Me uh, pay him $35. Him make a trouble, all right. Yes, evidently. Now, what work was he doing, Sing? You savvy, uh, him, uh, him baker. A baker, eh? Mm. Oh, yes, I see. He bakes all the bread for you. Oh, sure. Him, 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 Blaker, all the time, all the time. Catch him a lot of business. I'll say so. The Chung must be a pretty good baker. You sell good bread, uh, Ching. Sure. Him, him, good Blaker. But him lazy. Him lazy. Fix him bread, then all the time him sleep. Me, all the time work. What do you want to do now, Ching? You bake bread yourself? No, 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 no. No, 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 can't do. I don't know. Too bad. Too all right. Bad. All right, Marshal. You get Ransom? Sure. He'll be on the lookout. He'll get him, sure. 
Bring him back. Today's boat. So you catch him. You catch him. Bring him, bring him back and throw him in jail. You, he, he, him got all of my money. All right. Happy. All right, then. That's all we can do, Ching. You, you come uh, maybe uh, uh, look, see where I keep money, huh? Yes, chase over, Marshal. Give me a report. All right. Come on, Ching. You, 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 you sure catch him, man. I'll bring him back. Oh, him fat fellow, Sabby. Fat fellow. Gosh, I, I can't get this at all, Inspector. Three more suspects. And how about that Chinaman, Lee Chong? He hasn't got it. At least it isn't in his baggage. Did you hear from Ransom? Yes, he got Lee Chong just getting on the train at Whitehorse. Search his baggage. Not a sign of that dust. He's holding Lee Chong. What did you find over at uh, Ching Wo's? I could hardly get into the place. Everybody in town's after bread. They've mm. heard Lee Chong's gone, and there'll be no bread till Ching gets another baker. So there's a run on the place. <laughs> Ching's pretty nearly crazy. They're offering two dollars a loaf. <laughs> That's funny. What about this gold? Where'd he keep it? Oh, the craziest thing of all. Craziest thing you ever saw. Just had it in a sack inside a suitcase under his bed. Everything gone? Sure. And what about these other leads? Yes, that's funny too. It was a bright yellow suitcase with a patch on one side. Danny Wooden was seen with it this morning. Danny Wooden? But he'd never steal anything. He's a useless sort of fellow, but... Danny wouldn't do that. Where is he? He headed out to Pearson's camp this morning. Said he was going to work. He can't have got far. I sent Vernon after him. All right. We'll see what he has to say. What do you think about this Lee Chung? Do you know him? Fairly well. He's a comical sort of duck. Always playing tricks. I think he got old Ching's goat a little. The thing is, did he get Ching's money? I don't think so. He might have, of course. He's a pretty good baker anyway. Never tasted better bread in my life. By the way, how are we off for bread? Oh, got a couple of loaves. We'll do until the boat gets in. Certainly puts old Ching in a bad spot. He supplies all the camps and people in town. Must have quite a business. Yes. Serves Ching right in a way. He's a tight-fisted old devil. If he'd done the right thing by Lee Chong, he'd never have quit. Stay here. I haven't stolen nothing. Listen here. Oh, I, you, I tell you, I did. Robin told me to bring you in anyway. Right. Here, hold on. Keep those fellows out, Marshal. We don't want the whole town in here. All Shut right. the door. Well, Danny, what's this I hear? Doing a little burglary for a change, eh? Now, listen, Sergeant. You know me. I ain't a burglar. Is this the suitcase? Yes, that's it. That's King's, all right. The one he had the gold dust in. I see. Well, Denny, what do you got to say? Oh, gee, Sergeant, I didn't steal no gold. Where'd you get this suitcase? I found it in a vacant lot behind the bakery. Is that the truth, Denny? Sure it is, Sergeant. I don't know whose it was, and I I wanted something to carry me down to Jane, so Hold I... Hold on. You say you found it on a vacant lot? Yeah. What was in it when you found it? Why, there was nothing in it. It was just uh, laying there empty. And you saw nothing of any gold or a canvas sack at all? Of course I didn't. I I wouldn't steal nobody's money. All right, right, Danny. I'm going to turn you loose. But you stay in town till we clear this thing up, understand? Sure, Sergeant, sure. I'll be here, I'll be here. Right, let him go, Marshal. All right, Danny. Well, that's lead number two. What else, Marshal? Cat, I don't know. There's another lead. Vernon's after that. He'll be back in a minute. What's troubling you, Marshal? I don't know. I've got three suspects, and I expect to have half a dozen more in a little while. If indications are anything, everybody in town seems to have had a hand in this crime. Marshal, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't myself. But everybody seems to have some sort of a secret, and everybody's got money. Here, you don't mean the whole town's been dipping into that horde of ching wolves? <laughs> Search me. <laughs> hey, what now, Marshal? Uh, why, it's this man Williams. Brennan's brought him in for questioning. Hold on, here's Ching Wo. See what he wants now. Come in. Ah, you, you'll you catch a man to steal the money, you'll catch him? No, no, not yet. You, 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 you catch him, Ling Chong? Yes, we got him at Whitehorse. Ah. He, he hadn't any gold in his baggage. Ah, the same, you bring him back. Him steal a call, you savvy. Well, all right, we'll hold him. You no catch a call, you no go to prison, man. Take it easy now, Ching. Don't you get sore. Ah, me have a lot of trouble. Everybody come for play. All the people come to the store. Catch them play. Pay them one dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Ah, two pet. All the corn, no can sell, you savvy? Quite a run on bread this morning. How much did you have? Him, uh, let me chong him, uh, pick, uh, two, uh, two, two hundred loaf last night. Uh, all the corn. No, 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 no go to play now, you savvy? Yes, that's too bad. Well... Beat it now, Ching. I've got to work. All right. Uh, maybe you catch it. You're telling me, huh? All right. Marshal. Yes, Sergeant. 
What's this about William? Surely he isn't under suspicion. I don't know, Sergeant. Better talk to him anyhow. But what's the lead? Well, it's that canvas sack that the gold was in. We found it in the garbage can at William's shack. Hmm. All right, bring him in. All right, Joe. Come in. Morning, Joe. Sit down. Thanks. What's the trouble, Sergeant? Joe, we had a robbery in town last night. You know anything about it? You mean, uh, Ching Wo? <laughs> Lost his stake, huh? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Gosh, that's funny. But why pick on me any more than anybody else? Say, wait a minute, I don't get you. No? <laughs> well, that's funny. Hey, hold on, Joe. We found the canvas sack that had the gold in it at your house. Hmm, that's so? Well, what about it? Hmm, that's nothing. The kids were playing with... With it uh, this morning. Why, the wife's stuck it into the garbage can. It's all there is to it. See here, Williams, this thing is serious. Maybe. I ain't got much sympathy with that old Chinaman. Serves him right, I say. You seem to think the whole thing's a joke. Sure, why not? The whole town's laughing. <laughs> Everybody's getting a kick out of it. Well, I mean to say you ain't seen it yet. Yeah, what's the idea, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> say, that's a good one. And I thought you Mounties was smart. Hey, what in thunder do you mean? Didn't you get any of Ching Wo's bread this morning? Why, yes. There's a couple of loaves here. Well, just take a slice off of one of them. What? Hurry up, Marshal. I don't get this. Hmm? Why, why, holy smoke. This bread's full of gold dust. What? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's that joke of Lee Chung. Dump Ching Wu's gold dust into the batch of dough last night, then beat it. <laughs> well, that's one on you, Sergeant. Why, everybody in town's got a $20 loaf. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard the 24th episode in Blair of the Mounties. Tune in for the next episode in this series entitled The Strange Case of Henry Peterson.